Google discovers time crystals. Researchers from Google, Stanford, Princeton, and other universities may have made a computer breakthrough so significant that we haven't fully grasped it yet. Even Google scientists aren't sure if their time crystal discovery is for real. However, if the report is correct, Google might be one of the first companies to provide the globe with a critical technical development for the future. Quantum computers, which can tackle complicated problems with great speed and power using technologies that have yet to be devised, will require time crystals as a building block. According to the next web, we intend to use quantum computers to solve difficult problems. Warp drives, for example, could allow for rapid interstellar travel. And medical technology capable of curing almost any disease. Quantum computers, on the other hand, are extremely difficult to develop, maintain, and even use. That's where Google's time crystals could be useful. Qubits, or quantum computer bits, are now used in quantum computers. When these qubits are observed, they behave differently than when they are left alone. Because of this, measuring qubit states is challenging. This instability makes using a quantum computer difficult. That's where time crystals enter the picture. The time crystal concept, first proposed in 2012, is a new phase of matter. According to the next web, time crystals defy one of Sir Isaac Newton's renowned laws. According to Newton's first law of motion, an object at rest tends to stay at rest, and an object in motion tends to stay in motion. There is high entropy, or disorder, in our universe. Energy is constantly exchanging, causing something to happen. When there are no processes, entropy is constant, but it increases when processes are present. However, this is not the case with time crystals. Even when used in a process, they can maintain entropy. The next web presents an analogy with snowflakes to comprehend Google's time crystals. Because the atoms are grouped in certain ways, they have distinct and unique designs. Snow falls, melts, and water evaporates, only to eventually come back as snow. All of these processes entail energy exchanges. A time crystal is like a snowflake that can switch between two states without using or losing energy. Time crystals have the ability to have their cake and eat it too, and they can do it indefinitely. The time crystals do not belong to Google. Even Google is unsure if they have created them. The study is only available in preprint form while it is being peer validated. However, if Google can figure out how to create them, next generation quantum computers may include time crystals. These computers could be built by anyone. They'd also bring quantum coherence to a place where there's a lot of decoherence those restless qubits mentioned earlier. But the development of quantum computers based on time crystals is still in its infancy. Google may have demonstrated that time crystals aren't simply a theory, but Google hasn't created any. To build warp drives or uncover universally effective cancer cures, we may require decades of quantum computing research to produce quantum computers with time crystals and it will surely take decades to fully comprehend quantum computers and time crystals. Quantum Magazine Online has more detailed information on Google's discovery and an animation of a time crystal.